Hey, what's up guys? Mad Zach here in the studio for DJ Tech Tools. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make momentary assignments in Ableton with your MIDI fighter. And I'm also going to be going over three way cool techniques for how to implement this into your sets. Make sure to check out the download below so that you can try anything that I'm demonstrating in this video. And without further ado, let's dive right in. The first thing that we're going to do is assign some of the buttons on your controller to turn on effects and modulate those effects in a momentary fashion. So I'm going to hit Apple M on my keyboard here to go into MIDI map mode. Select the parameter that I want to assign to. And now hit the button you want to assign to. Uh, hit any other button and let go, all while holding down that first button. And now when you let go of the button you wanted to assign to, you'll notice that this right here changed. And now it is going to be a momentary type effect. Now I have quite a few other parameters assigned to buttons already in the beat repeat but I used that same technique that I just showed you to make all these assignments. So let's take a look at how that sounds. The next way that I'm gonna be showing you how to implement this type of momentary assignment is into a drum rack. I'm really excited about this technique because it allows you to create layers and also embed functionality within this one set of 16 buttons. For example, here you have your single shot hi-hat, but when you hold down the bass line, then it starts playing a rhythm. And I'll show you what that looks like over here in the drum rack. I have an instrument rack with two cymbal instances. The first sounds like this and the second sounds like this. So normally they hit together, but you will notice that on this layer, I have these arpeggiators, which have different rates. Uh, one is a fast and one is a slow. When I hold down that bass line, you can see that this arpeggiator is turning on. And now it'll play it at this rate. If I wanted to make that faster, I could go fast or slow. Now I'm gonna show you how to do your own assignment in this fashion. So one of the things I wanted to add before I finished the pack was more of like a, an 808 style clap to the snare. Okay, so this is a great example. I have my one simpler here that's playing the sample. Now what I'm gonna do is group it real quick, Apple G, and you can see it, it put it in this shell. And now if I hit this button, I can open up this area to add additional layers. So now I'm gonna go grab that sample. I'm just using the finder right now. I actually use the finder a fair amount to find samples because I think it's faster. Okay, now I'm gonna Apple M to go into MIDI map mode. I have to find my modifier now or what button I want to change it. So I'm gonna go for this little Chinese harp thing that I've got going on. I want that to change the sound of the snare to a clap. So. I've selected the parameter, which is track on for that sample. And now I'm gonna hit the button I want to assign to, quickly hit another button and let go, and then let go of the first button, get out of MIDI map mode, and now the default position, you'll see that this is now turning on that clap. Okay, so now it's layering on top of the snare, but I actually wanna turn the snare off when it goes to the clap, so create a total switch. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm also going to assign that same modifier to the on, track on for the original snare. Same strategy where I hit one button and then another. And then what I'm going to do is just flip these values. So 127 there, 64 there. Now you can see it's toggling between the two. The third technique I'm going to be showing you today is how to take a signal from your turntable 
route it into Ableton, and then use one of the buttons on your MIDI fighter to create a transform for that turntable and incorporate real scratching into a finger drumming routine. So let's take a look at how we do that. Create a new audio track. That was Apple T I did for that. And you're gonna want monitor in. And you want to select whatever input here you're using for your turntable. For me, I'm using three and four. And then you're gonna go down to this track on. Track on and track off. So I'm going to assign that to this, I particularly like this button, to use this one right here, um, but momentary on that button. So that's all you have it now. Paul Frenchman, Rene. Whenever I hit the button, it's gonna cut in on the vinyl. But again, we see there is So there you have it, guys three way cool techniques for making momentary assignments in Ableton Live with your MIDI fighter. And if you want to get these sound packs that I was demonstrating, all you have to do is sign up for the DJ Tech Tools weekly newsletter and you'll get them delivered to your inbox. I make a fresh one each week. So until next time, Mad Zach over and out for DJ Tech Tools. Have a great day. Don't forget, hit subscribe.